play the piano and you're tired of getting no views on your piano videos and you want to make piano videos like Rousseau. My name is Lucian Liu from Easy Piano Hacks and here's what you need. This is a $250 MIDI controller, an audio interface that's 45 bucks, a computer and headphones that you already have. To set it up, plug in the USB in the back. Switch it on. For the Alesis Q88, you don't need a power supply. The USB is all you need. If you have a pedal, plug it into the sustain port at the back. Now plug in the USB for both your keyboard and the audio interface. Plug in your headphones to the audio interface. And on your computer, select USB audio codec or whatever your manufacturer for your audio interface is. So how do we get sound out of the keyboard? Well, we're gonna need two pieces of software. It's called the VST and a DAW. The download links are in the description. These are completely free. First, we're gonna download the Piano VST. This is basically a virtual piano for pre-recorded sounds or computer-generated sounds. The one in the links below is called Upright Piano by 99 Sounds. It's completely free. Just send them your email address, they'll send it to you in your inbox. Verify the order, go ahead and download whichever one fits you. For Windows, download the first link. For Mac, there are options for you as well. When you have them, unzip the file and you will have your VST inside a downloads folder. Remember where this folder is because we're gonna need it later on. Now we're gonna get our DAW. A DAW stands for a digital audio workstation. It's the program we're gonna to use to play, edit, and record our audio and plug in the VST we just downloaded. There are many DAWs, but the one in the links in the description below is free. Sign up for a free account and remember your login. Once it takes you to the free download page, select the operating system that you have, then open up the setup. This will take a minute, but once you have this all set up, go ahead and launch Waveform 11. Agree to the terms as necessary, and then log in with the details that you just provided. You can choose to opt in and out of crashes, and you can choose to update as well. But let's put that aside and do what we came to do. Now that we have our DAW, we can connect our MIDI keyboard, our audio interface, and our virtual piano VST. But before we do this, let me ask you a question, and it'll only take a minute. What is your number one biggest piano problem? If you don't know, or if you think you know, I've created a tool on my website called easypianohacks.com. If you fill in that quiz, you'll be able to figure out what your number one biggest piano problem is. Is it note blindness, where you learn by ear or memory and you can't read music? Or you can play piano, but your videos are getting very low views. You might be talented, you might even be a teacher, but you don't have as many followers as you believe you should. You just wish you knew the secrets to becoming a piano influencer. If all this sounds exciting and interesting, go check out that link below for Piano Influencer Secrets. I share the exact blueprint of how I got to 150,000 piano followers on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube, and what the top 1% of influencers are doing that the other 99% are not. So click on that link in the description below to find out for free today what your biggest piano problem is and how we might be able to help you at easypianohacks.com. All right, now that the bills are paid, let's set up your DAW in three easy steps so you can start playing the piano on your computer. First step, let's connect the audio. So click on the setup audio device. You can press the test button that's flashing, but select the USB audio codec. You can press the test now. The audio should be coming out of your audio interface through your headphones or your speakers, whichever one is connected to your audio interface. Next, we're gonna connect our MIDI controller, our USB keyboard. Set up MIDI device. You'll see a list of MIDI devices. In our case, this is the Alesis Q88. Now this is the last step. Click on scan for plugins. This will take you to the settings to connect our piano VST. If you click on scanning and sorting, go ahead and scan for new and updated VST plugins. We have to create a new folder called VST plugins inside program files. So go ahead and navigate to program files under C. Go ahead and create a new folder by clicking control shift N, call it VST plugins exactly as shown. Now navigate to the upright piano VST we downloaded cut or copy, then paste it into the VST plugins folder we just created. Waveform should detect this as a new plugin. Anytime a new plugin is added into that folder, it'll detect it. You can also manually scan for new plugins. You can also click on validate selected. I assume that this tests the plugins and all the features as you see those knobs turning. It looks like it's gonna work. We're basically done here. You can scan for loops or download demo songs, watch their tutorial videos, but this is all we need to get started and get playing the piano. So go ahead and click on new project. There are different sorts of project files that you can have, but let's stick with the default. The location is inside documents and name it something like piano. 
Click on create project and you'll see something like this. Lots of things on the screen, but don't be overwhelmed because all we have to do is one thing. We're going to create a piano track. First, we're going to go into track one. We're going to right click and select our MIDI controller. In our case, that's the Lisa's Q88. Now, go ahead to the right side, right click and go down to add new plugin. Select the plugin that you want. In our case, that's the upright piano. Give it two seconds and the upright piano VST plugin will be fully loaded. You can click on the keys or use your keyboard. Now you might be wondering, how do we record the sound? Check this out. So go to track one, click on that red button beside the Elise's Q88. Now click on the record button at the bottom. Anytime you want to stop, hit spacebar or the stop button. You can also click to add or remove notes. These are all part of the MIDI file. Now hit spacebar. Good, now that you have this recorded, how do we save it? All the way to the bottom left, there's an upload icon. Click on that and then click on save. Anytime you wanna save your project file, you can save it as a template or you save it as an edit. Now listen carefully. This is a project file, not an audio file. A project file will only work with waveform free. If you want to export the audio data, you have to do this. Go ahead and click on export, render to a file. There are lots of different files that we can choose from. The WAV file is the most common next to the MP3 file. Then choose the destination folder where you want to save things. Click on render. In our case, you see the project file is here. Piano and Piano Edit 1. Inside of exported is the WAV file that we just rendered. Now, if you want to export to a visualizer like Embers, we're going to export the note data inside of a file called a MIDI file. Click on export, render to a file. Now make sure you select this. Format should be MIDI file. Pass through plugins turned off, then render. Now you should be able to see a MIDI file. If you have Embers installed already, you can double click and select Embers. Now Embers is still under development, but I've spoken to Lyric Wolf himself. He's a really cool guy. If you wanna check this out, you can go download embers.app in the link in the description below. It's the best piano visualizer I've ever used, and it's completely free. Now, there are lots of other things you can do with your MIDI keyboard, including this program that I recommend to beginner students. This is called sightreading.training. You can choose your MIDI keyboard, and now you can press the notes and test your note reading abilities. You press the right one, and it advances you forwards. If you press the wrong one, it tells you that you played it wrong. You can configure this tool to be the grand staff or just the bass clef, chords, triads, progressions, intervals, all kinds of stuff to test your ability to play and read music. Now, in full disclosure, I am not being paid by any of these software companies to promote their software. The DAW that I actually use is Cubase, but sometimes if you buy audio interfaces that are a little bit more expensive, they come with the software that you need, including paid DAWs. The one I use is actually called Cubase, but if you don't wanna spend any extra money for any fancy bells and whistles, there are tons of free DAWs out there, just like the one we used in this video. If you want to see a complete list of gear or tools or books to help you learn piano more easily, go check out easypianohacks.com tools. The link is in the description. Now let's take a look at some comments from the last video. So here's what you guys had to say about the Jared Ranick Pirates of the Caribbean tutorial. I've been taking piano classes for two months. I want to learn this and I will learn it. Wish me luck. Definitely. It's, uh, I admire your ambition, but hey, it may take years. It may take many years for you to play it well. So I, I challenge you to play it well. Definitely don't set any expectations, but enjoy the game of practicing. Enjoy supplementing with a lot of technique. You're gonna have to learn a lot of scales. You know, it took me at least 10 years of practice to start learning this. And I didn't even start this piece till 20 years in. Speed is not the game here, quality is, okay? All right. I'm only playing the piano since 11 months, so this is way too hard for me, but I'll definitely come back in some years, many years, definitely. It's not too early to, to look at what, what's coming up. You have your goals in mind, but definitely work towards it. You'll definitely be able to play it one day, just like I did when I heard this. I only heard it 10 years ago. You know, I only started learning it last year. Okay, so good stuff. This is Emily, and she's been able to actually play this by herself. Uh, she just bought the music and is super, super uh, surprised on how intuitive it is. This is actually Emily, who's a feature student. She's 37-year-old mother of four. She hasn't practiced much in the last 23 years, 
But she decided to take on this challenge and come back to find her love for piano again. And during quarantine, it's been awesome to help her. She's actually been able to achieve this for Pirates of the Caribbean right here. <laughs> So glad to see somebody using the metronome and playing at a speed that they are practicing at that they can actually manage. Not speeding up, not going too slow, not going too fast, just the right amount. If you want to be featured in the next video with your piano playing and what you're working on, send me a direct message on Instagram with you playing the piano in the video. I answer a lot of questions all day, every day, so make sure if you want me to see it, tag me in the stories at Easy Piano Hacks. Ask me any question you want to ask about any piece, how to practice it, how to correct things, how to fix things. Think of me as your friendly neighborhood piano teacher.